Another thing that a lot of my students ask about that I might not cover in class, but it'll just be a other follow-up video here is, what about if I want to do 3D modeling or Photoshop or anything like that? So let's run through and look at all of these here if, if you're uh, curious. So this is Blender. Blender really has no high recommended requirements. Um, they do recommend a 64-bit CPU. Any CPU you buy will be fine. 16 gigs of memory. That's why I always say 16 gigs of memory. Um, you know, they want you to have a three-button mouse or one pen tablet. It, it's not required. And a graphics card with four gigabytes of memory, you know, so that's why the GTX 970 I go over in class would be good here. But again, it's not um, required. You can still do this on like a really old graphics card, you know, as they say, less than 10 years old. And it should work relatively fine. The only time you may have problems is when you're actually trying to render something and your computer would run slower than something that is, you know, has really high end dis you know, specs like this. But again, it, you're, you're probably not trying to make a Pixar level movie here. So that's OK. Let's look at Photoshop. So Photoshop is really not that high. Again, they want you to have four gigs of GPU memory, you know, just. And, and it can be like there are hundred dollar graphics cards that have four gigs of GPU memory. So again, if you're if you're looking at the GTX 970, it would be phenomenal for this as well. Here's a uh, 3ds Max, something I work with quite a bit. Um, you know, I use it every day, and we use two gig GPUs in my classroom, <clears throat> and it works relatively well. Um, you know, they don't even give you like a, a a memory thing. It is nice to have like 16 gigs of memory for this as well, though. And here's a lot of people are asking about Maya. Um, I get questions on Maya occasionally. Um, so Maya is 64 bit, eight gigs of memory, four gig disk space. They don't even have much of a, a, a graphics card uh, requirement here. So that's just a few, just a few of the little programming things for graphic design and 3D modeling that you may want to get into. Just, just some food for thought, checking all the requirements. Again, you don't need anything hardcore if you're going to build a computer for minecraft a computer for minecraft as long as you have that one gig gpu will still be able to do 3ds max as long as it's not terribly terribly old once in a while you'll get into um uh, graphics card driver issues if you have a really old graphics card but anything seven years or newer should be fine